Hi, this is Brian Kim, and I'd like to share with you an addendum to my last uh, video on the Imani interscleral haptic fixation technique. If you notice in that case, I actually had a little bit of decentration of the lens implant. I want to go over why and how this happened. So as you can see, I finished this case, and I'm pushing the haptics into the sclera, and you can see that the lens is slightly decentered. You can see the edge of the optic inferiorly. So what's going on here? Well, first of all, the polyvanillidine haptics are strong, but they're not immune to deformation. And assuming 180 degrees apart placement of the haptic, meaning good placement, you still have to pay attention to the asymmetric tension on the haptics. Uh, and so you can see here that as I'm pulling this first haptic out on the left, there's significant tension on that left haptic. As you can see, the haptic is flexing outward, and this is not the normal position of the haptic. And this stretching of the haptic will actually cause some deformation to the contour of, the, of that haptic. And in fact, what it'll do is cause that left-sided haptic to be stretched so much that the haptic length will be longer on the left side relative to the right side. And this is what causes the decentration at the end of the case. And so, as you see, I'm going to pull out the right side haptic. And when you see me pulling this haptic out, you will see how much tension is being applied to this left haptic. As I'm pulling it, it's even stretched even more. You see how stretched that left haptic is. And so after I place the haptics in, you can see there's slight decentration. And what's happening is the left-sided haptics are longer and pushed out more. And the way you fix this is you use uh, micro graspers and you just pull on the haptic so that it stretches. You're essentially pulling on the haptics in order to create a more symmetrical haptic link on, on each side. And as you can see at the end of this manipulation, the haptics are in a much more even position and the lens is well centered. So despite following perfect technique and perfect placement of the haptics, the lens can still be decentered. So how to avoid decentration in this situation? Avoid asymmetric tension on the haptics. In other words, you should internalize the same amount of haptic into each of the needles on the right and the left side. In my case, I put too much internalization of the haptics on the right needle and not enough on the left, and that caused asymmetric tension. But if this happens and you have decentration, if you've stretched one haptic too much and there is decentration, use a micro grasper to pull on the haptics to achieve a more symmetric length on each side, with resolution of decentration. I want to thank Jackie Griffith for her astute observation and pointing this out to me on my last video, which encouraged me to post this addendum. I hope this subtle but important tip is helpful to you and thank you for your attention.